Hey guys, such a warmonger here, and you're watching 3 vs. 3 Siege of Jerusalem. So, this is a attackers versus defenders map. And in blue, you've got me, such a warmonger. In green, you've got Hume or Pume, I don't know how to say it. And in cyan, you've got Distoth. Over on the defenders side, go to the defenders. In gray, you've got Obelix. In red, you've got Goofus McDoof. And in orange, you've got Choco. What is this? Uh, Chacho 18. Okay. So. Ah. Uh, I am telling my team, you know what? I want to deploy over here somewhere. And I think we should pretty much stick together because if we are separated, we don't really stand a chance if the defenders decide to sally forth from their walls altogether to kill us. Now, I was worried about this scout cavalry. So I'm not sure he noticed that I moved my, uh... oh, I think he noticed, He's trying to chase us. Oh, no, actually, I'm not sure he noticed that we passed by. Let's put it in the perspective of the defenders. So let's see. So this is what the defenders see. So the whole objective of the, uh, the attackers is to bring down defender morale to zero. So both sides start with 100% morale and the attackers have 45 minutes to bring it down to zero or else the defenders win. That's pretty much the only way for the defenders to win is holding out for 45 minutes. The other way for defenders to win is bringing down attacker morale also to zero but that's harder to do. Um, but it is possible, I've seen it happen. But mostly it's it's onto the attackers to bring the defenders to their knees. The way you do that is capturing um, objectives and defenses. So each defensive structure can be captured or destroyed. And those give uh, different values. For example, this is the gate of Jehoshaphat. Got one gate and two towers. So you could either capture it and bring down morale Defender morale by 5 and increase your own morale by 5. Or you can permanently bring down defender morale by 5 by destroying this gate. And then another 2, another 4. Because each one of these towers, if destroyed, will bring down defender morale by 2. That's one way of uh, bringing down defender morale. Another way, uh, much less effective, is by killing units. So every time... The attackers win an engagement by 10, so that means the attackers kill 10 more defenders than the defenders kill attackers. That brings defender morale down by 1. The attackers can do the same, except it's a 3 to 1 advantage, so the, attack, the defenders need to kill 30 un more units than they lose to bring down the attacker morale by 1. Now, the actual most effective way to bring down defender morale is by attacking one of four points, capturing one of four points. Forgot to mention that to capture a point, you know, you look at the flags, that's where the capture zone in. So is, you put 15 units inside the capture zone, then you will capture it. Unless there is a military unit on the enemy team that is also in the same capture zone. So. The four very important points are the Dome of the Rock, which is this thing. That will instantly bring down defender morale by 15%, plus cause a 1% morale bleed every few seconds. Uh, it's the same thing with the Church of the Holy Sepulchre here. So minus 15% instant, and then the morale bleed. Now the Tower of David also has a minus 15% instant, and the morale bleed, and so does the Al-Aqsa Mosque. But what's crazy about these points is not only do they control 
a lot of unit production buildings, which makes them even more important. Like this is where they train units. But also they are there are three locations that provide defenders with food and gold. So that's the Al Aqsa, um, the Syrian exchange, which is this area, gives defenders food and gold. Tower of David gives defenders food and gold, and Al Aqsa Mosque gives defenders food and gold. So the historical role play scenario for this is the defenders have known that an attack is coming for some time, so they stockpile enough food and gold to last a long siege. Oh, it's nighttime. You see what happened there? So let's take a look at in-game. This is what it looks like inside the game. So I am, um, you can see this is a perspective of red. So you can see this is what I was talking about. There's defender morale and attacker morale. And nighttime, there's a 24 hour cycle. So one minute in real life is one hour inside the game. So nighttime comes at 9 p.m. and the dawn comes at 5 a.m. And at nighttime, you cannot see what your allies are doing. You can only see what your own units are doing. And vision goes down by a lot. Okay, so. Here's the here's the real world minutes that you can see how much time you have left. Right, let's go back into capture age. All right. So, a lot has happened. So Green decided he's gonna set up camp all the way at the opposite end, maybe to cause a distraction, maybe to actually capture something. And he's causing some sort of a distraction here. I'm not sure if this is on purpose or by accident, but. They are never going to take this tower down. But Cyan and I have deployed over here to uh, make an attack. So something you're going to want to do as a defender is send scouts around. Because the fact that they don't know where we set up camp is a very, very bad thing. You're always going to want to know where an attack is coming from. You're always going to, going to want to send some light cavalry out, scouting, gathering information to see where an attack is coming from. So that's, that's, that's a really big mistake from the defender's side. I'm not even sure they're noticing that I'm sieging this wall. Okay, we got a villager here. Let's see what he's doing. Not sure if he's repairing or I don't know. Anyway, each attacker can make train a spy. That helps with uh, finding weak points or doing some spotting for uh, siege equipment. Because siege equipment, like trebuchets, have 75 range. So I'm shooting that wall all the way from here. But look at that. Look at that range. Um. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, anyway, the spy is non-targetable, so nothing will automatically attack it, and melee units can't even kill it. They just can't. So, how do you kill a spy? Every ranged unit in the whole game... Right about to find us. Oh my god, he can't even... Wow. He's just hanging out in the Garden of Gethsemane. This is the Garden of Gethsemane, and he thinks it's cool. <laughs> anyway, how do you kill a spy? You attack ground, because every single unit, ranged unit in the game has the attack ground capability. That's actually what makes archers unable to garrison towers and castles. Because they have the attack ground capability instead. So you attack ground into this, and you'll kill the spy, because it only has 10 HP. It's very weak. Wow, he really didn't, really didn't find us. That's, that's amazing. It's actually hilarious. Okay, so I'm gathering up for a nice assault here. It's nighttime. Building up our forces. Oh my god. I will say that trebuchets are good against everything. And they have really long range, but they fire very slowly. Mangonels are like... A slightly worse version of trebuchets, still good. 
they don't do as well. <laughs> Whoops. They don't do as well versus um, gates as trebuchets do. What the best thing versus gates. Okay, here we go. The best thing versus gates, the thing that really kills gates well, are battering rams. Battering rams take gates down really fast. And battering rams also take down low walls pretty fast. Now, I did remove splash damage from these siege rams. Okay. <clears throat> this is probably the only game mode, the ga only game mode in Age of Empires where siege towers are actually effective. So, as you can see, even though these siege towers are full, they're not moving like racing cars because I made it so that they're super, super, super slow. So, siege towers, um, you need to put 10 men inside for them to move at a decent rate. Alright, red is under attack. He sees the siege towers. What's he gonna do? He's gonna try to block the landing. That's the right move. That's the right move to do this. This is Red is doing the right thing, but what he's not doing is he's not pinging. He's not asking for help. And so now I, I put the Siege Towers in. And now, the cool thing about Siege Towers is if they're, if they're uh, mounted onto a wall, any unit you put in them will automatically hop over. So you see, I just hopped over a bunch of units. And I am assaulting this right now at the same time green is thinking about using his siege ramps to take out this this gate orange still has no clue he's just got his men over here no one's talking to each other that's a big mistake gray is over here he's just thinking oh yeah i can easily defend this meanwhile there's a major attack here and if they lose this point this point is super important and the men i put into the siege towers I put Ghulams and Mamluks, which are the Ayyubid heavy infantry, so they're not bad, they're not bad. Also, they got archers outside, unsupported. All archers and crossbowmen have minimum range, so they get slaughtered by melee units. And now, it's daytime, you can finally see what's going on. Green has busted down the Zion Gate instantly, nearly instantly. Orange is only now realizing he has to send some men. I mean, he should send all of this, honestly. Gray. Gray should also send absolutely everything right now. They're too slow. Red is the only one holding the Temple Mount. He should have realized how, um, how important this attack was. This is... I need... I should... Oh! Oh! So 15 men capturing... A point is 50 men. I opened the gates and now I can flood my men in. And now these towers are on my side. Meanwhile, green. Walking through the city. Captured this Zion area. So these towers are on his side too. Orange and red are starting to realize uh, what's happening. So they're trying to react. Gray. Gray still has his men up here. He should really send. I don't know what they're doing here. I really don't. Get in there. I am, as the blue player, I am flooding men in. I'm sending men here to capture these gates so they can't send reinforcements inside. Let's take a look at the morale. Defender morale is at 68. Now it's at 64. This is a desperate fight. Gray needs to get inside the map right now. Capturing these gates. Trying to block the entrance. Trying to block them from coming in. This is really bad. If they lose both of these, that's a double morale bleed. Plus instant 30 points morale. Like, all of these points... That causes so much morale loss. There, I blocked and reinforcements from coming in because I captured these gates. This is looking really bad. What's the morale now? It's at 44% for the defenders. Let's look at what Green's doing. He's trying to go... He captured the Syrian exchange. He's sending even more men. He's going to capture the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. You got Cyan sending some men in. I captured the Dome of the Rock. It's falling. The defenders are at 22% morale. So this 
attack caught them completely by surprise because they didn't have enough scouting going on. Now, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was captured as well. Now, there's only one spot because you could have... Defenders could have trained units right here, but they didn't. There's only one spot for training units here, and now it's the Tower of David. It's effectively over. Because the only way you can get a battering ram as a defender is by controlling the Syrian exchange. And you only get one battering ram. And that's only if one of these points are captured. The Al-Aqsa Mas, the Dome of the Rock, or the Tower of David. Defenders are at 2%. It's effectively over. If we kill more units, the game is over. I think it's about to be finished. That's it. So moral of the story is number one, make sure you know where the en an enemy is coming from. Use your scouts as defenders. Uh, number two is communicate. So gray was too slow to send men from here. Orange was too slow to send men from here. They should have just instantly moved, mobilized. You know, they should have scouted. They would have found out that there was a base right here. They would have found out that our main base was here. They didn't see this at all. They had no idea. That's unfortunate. For the defenders. But it is possible to take these points by surprise. Gray didn't even come in. With these men. He didn't even try to come in. He just stayed right here. I'm not sure why. Maybe he thought, well, this is Red's this is Red's territory, he can take care of it. But, you know, it's a team game. Even though I'm one player, they should have seen that he, Red was in trouble. Especially since there was a bunch of Red's men over here. And over here. Uh, where was Green? So yeah, Cyan was capturing this area. Yeah, that was a rapid assault. An extremely quick Salt on three of the most important points. Dome of the Rock, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, and Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Well, I hope you had fun watching that. I'll see you guys in the next video.